Hello again, my fellow model builders. Um, back with a final reveal on the AMT 1957 Corvette Gasser um, and a shop card shout out. Um, got the shop card in from uh, Joe, the model building corner at Joe, the model builder. He sent me a couple shop cards. Is uh, couple designs he's got there. There's his uh, at there, his email, if you guys need one of these. Uh, Joe's a great guy and a great builder. Um, we swapped cards, and uh, hopefully he got mine. I'd... Um, sent a few out last week, and I think his was one of them. Um, if anybody wants one of my shop cards, always my email is in the description. And... Um, Again, I believe I'm caught up on all those, so if you haven't seen one from me and you were supposed to get one, reach out. Uh, Joe, though, uh, thank you for swapping with me. Thank you for the uh, kind words on the back, and um, I really enjoy your channel. This is the other shop card. Super cool. Two really cool shop cards. Uh, thank you for sending them out. Um... I really like, uh what Joe does. He does really nice work. Um, so I imagine anybody that's subscribed to me is already subscribed to Joe, but if you're not for some reason, go check him out and uh, I'll get this out of the way and show you the Corvette now. This isn't what you would call a glorious kit by any stretch. Um, it's not for beginners. I... I don't really like the, you know, bad kit sort of, it's it's just very easy to blame the kit. Uh, some kits aren't great. This one is not for beginners, but uh, everything is in there to build a Corvette Gasser. I think if I were to do this again, I would probably do a straight axle swap. Uh, this is like a sort of like a vintage period gasser because there are, I did find plenty of reference photos of uh, coil front Corvette gassers. Um, so it's not totally out of the ordinary, but I think uh, if I were to do it again, sorry, I bumped the camera there. I would probably do a straight axle swap, maybe get the front end up a little bit more. Um, but overall, um, I had a lot of fun with it. I had some troubles. It actually got stripped. Um, these decals, man. This is... Uh, decals were old, but I was determined to use them. As you can see, they're a little rough. But uh, I just thought for period gasser, they were just too cool to not use. So they split up, and I had to piece them back together. And I didn't quite get them as smooth as I wanted across. Um, but hey, that's okay. Uh, wheels and tires, the Cheater Slicks, and these great looking wheels. Those are from VCG Resins. Um, absolutely love how they look on this car. Um, this roll bar, this front piece that goes down to the cockpit, that's the kit piece. And then I just added some solder supports. Um, so everything else other than that is out of box. Um, I just changed the wheels and the added the roll bar supports. Uh, it's painted with a Gaia Prism Cherry Cola. I don't remember what. One of Gaia's crazy colors. And it has a little shift to it. You can probably see it best on... Uh, well, hold on a second. Sorry, I don't even know what I was looking at there. I had a, a low battery message up on my screen. So I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but there's a little shift to the blue. Um, and then... The uh, scallop I sort of painted like a metallic light pinkish maroon to sort of match the striping a little bit. The uh, bare metal foil around the scallop. Uh, man, there's just not a lot of uh, height to this. Um, and it showed as that's pretty rough on the, on the BMF. And then uh, another thing, I broke the factory hinge. This is a flip nose, as you can tell by the... Uh, not so great fit there. I 
I broke the factory when I just made some stuff up with some brass. Uh, it's not perfect, but it, it, it's functional. Uh, there's kind of a big gap, which there kind of was anyways. I'm not terribly concerned. Um, there's the underneath. Went with the old classic white headers, uh, with the red drive shaft and some red leaf springs. Um, as for the cockpit detail, I don't know if you can see that. I just did some dry brushing on the gauges and then uh, put a red red needles. Uh, did a little bit of detailing on the badging there as well. We'll go for a spin around the block. Um, this kit has a ton of flash, which I don't care about that. That's easy to clean up. Most of it all just broke right off with your finger and then a quick swipe with the X-Acto and you're good to go. Uh, but man, you got plenty of it. So if you need to make a uh, fresh batch of sprue goo, then uh, I recommend this kit. It'll give you plenty of... Uh... Uh, the decals were a little bit better on the side, but still but broke here and uh, broke here. I pieced it back together, like I said, as best I could. I just thought it was such a great period look. I wanted to use them. It's got a uh, molded in uh, hood pins, which I tried to hit. This is the kit supercharged small block. And then... I put the moon tank where the grill would go. I just thought that would look cool. Uh, again, these 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 tires. Look at those cheater slicks. Those are awesome. Uh, and then, uh, so the flip nose with my homemade hinge system didn't really want to stay up. And uh, so I removed the bracing that sort of was on the kit hinge that I broke. And I just put a little magnet right here, which is what that flat black disc is. Uh, you know, just to hold it up. But I don't know. I kind of like how it looks flipped down. It's pretty cool. It's not something you see all the time. So maybe I'll just show it off this way in the cabinet. Um, I wired the... I think that's a Morgan Auto Detail distributor there. Um, just quick and easy ignition wiring and then uh, surprisingly once you trim the clear flash off the windshield actually sort of fit um, it's more than I thought it would uh, the radiator I sort of created my own mount to fit under the flip nose because this was sort of built into the factory hinge so we had to do our own thing there but uh, yeah this was actually a pretty long-term build. I started this quite a while ago. I don't remember exactly when. I'd have to look in my notes. But uh, it's, it wasn't a fast process. This has been many months. Of course, I went out of town and uh, and it stalled out. I also did sort of the same thing on the... Just the red and the black flags. that uh, The checkered flag and the red flag with some gold lettering. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, I, did, I went ahead, out of town trips for work uh, you guys know I was MIA for on on here for a while just because I, I wasn't around at all um, and so this languished in the box for quite a while so I'm glad to get it done um, yeah, like I said it's 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 an old kit and uh, it's not the easiest kit but you you can get you could get a better result than what I did here I mean I'm okay with it for what it is it was a flea market find and a uh, few upgrades and I think it looks pretty cool um so not worried about it at all I had a lot of fun with it still and it's totally unique this is the only uh drag car of any kind that I've built I guess I sort of did like a street machine style Chevelle but uh this, this is like a more legit track car um, but yeah, just a lot of fun and I like the flip nose. I thought I wanted to make that work instead of just, uh, gluing this or whatever, having it lift off or, uh, so yeah. Well, I've been rambling now for, uh, almost 10 minutes, so I really need to let you guys go. That's, uh, that's long enough for this. I hope you guys like it. Um, and if you see this kit for cheap, like I think I paid eight bucks for it at the flea market, well worth it. Uh, a lot of really great parts. I mean, it's got uh, wheelie bars you can add. Um, uh, don't, it's got a parachute I didn't put on that. Uh, you know, it's got some cool parts. Um, 
the aftermarket gauge pack. I thought that was pretty cool because it's like a separate, uh, you know, tack, oil pressure, whatever, you know, whatever you would have. Um, you know, it's just got some cool bits to it. It's a, it's a cool kit. It's just, it's kind of, kind of dirty and, uh, needs some, needs some love and some time and you can get a really cool result out of it. But, uh, I appreciate all you guys watching and, um, I, I'm sure I won't see you again now before, uh, before Sunday rolls around. Uh, I don't know. I, you know, I go, there's so much to show off. I, I love that model cars and coffee. I'll go through my old builds and drag something out and knock the dust off of it and show you guys. So you guys all have a great, uh, rest of your week here the next couple days and enjoy your, your weekends. Appreciate everybody. Uh, take care.